Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing a video today. And since this, this is a verboten subject on YouTube, I will be using some coded language. Uh, of course, you can see uh, certain other things. That I... <clears throat> Anyways, I have noticed that in the last couple weeks, there has been a change in tone in the local coverage of certain mandates that are being implemented by our public health authorities in this town and in this county and I find it very surprising and in a certain way not surprising at the cognitive dissonance of these people that are doing these articles and the respondents to these articles now last year like uh, uh, over a year ago there was this coffee shop that refused to implement the uh, mat, uh, facial covering mandate that this county I live in, which is the, the most liberal county, probably one of them in the Midwest, <clears throat> most liberal in the Midwest, um, implemented. The guy was shamed, there were protests, you know, the, the owner of this coffee shop, and he eventually closed down because he tried to sue the county and all this stuff, or they sued him or fined him or something for not implementing this mandate. Now, the local coverage was pretty harsh and pretty uh, vindictive towards him as well. Now, however, so we have a new mandate, you know, a facial covering, covering mandate, and the tone of a lot of these various, you know, kind of various established media, liberal media outlets, not Fox News, I'm talking about like very uh, relatively liberal uh outlets not like uh, public public access or like NPR or anything like that but um you know just made mainstream liberal left-wing uh, news coverage has been very sympathetic to anybody that is uh, questioning these new mandates which is very interesting because the change in tone is very uh, revealing about the cognitive dissonance that people are starting to have about the crisis that's going on. And I'm not going to talk about, you know, my reasoning behind what I think as far as uh, this cognitive dissonance is coming from necessarily in this video. I know this is a very verboten subject on YouTube, so I'm going to use as much coded language as possible. Obviously, this is not coded, this shirt. <laughs> but... One of the things I've noticed is that they are becoming more and more sympathetic to people that do not necessarily even want to follow the uh, mandates. So, case in point, a week ago, there was a new facial covering mandate uh, put in place. Um, now, the Twitter of the public health uh, organization, or whatever you want to call it, department for this county, was highly ratioed. It was about 60 or 70 uh, responses, I believe, to in including me, from me, <laughs> about this new mandate. And there were like two or three people that supported it and stuff. It's like, good, oh, I'm so glad. Ah. You know, however, it was very ratioed. But, but what is more surprising is some of these media outlets doing interviews with business owners. And there's this town in, the, in our county that has this restaurant. And they did an interview with the owner owner of this restaurant, and he's not going to enforce the mandate. And they're and you know a year ago, like they did with this coffee shop guy that was defying the mandates, they would have probably criticized him and had a very snarky, like uh, condescending attitude towards the guy in the article. But this article was outright sympathetic. It's like, oh well, he he doesn't feel like. He should uh, enforce the mandate because all this stuff has happened and blah, 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 blah. And it was just really surprising to see that. And then come yesterday, I read another article from a similar outlet where this theater troupe, and this, you know, that runs this uh, theater uh, that does plays, obviously, um, is mad because they're going to have to wear facial coverings on stage doing plays. And he's like, I'm so conflicted. Uh, and it's just funny because... He's like, he knows, he's like, well, I understand the meaning for the mandate, but this is going to hurt our 
business and our in our theater and stuff. And it's just kind of funny because the article is very sympathetic towards him as well. And you know, a year ago, oh my God, you're if you want to question these things, you're just a terrible person, dude. So it's pretty funny to see this. So I think the tone has changed. I think people are are fed up with these mandates, especially you know considering there have been th two or three deaths from this thing that I'm talking about in the last three or four months in this county. And obviously, I'm gonna just use the word guitar cases have, you know, they've gone up, gone down, you know, things happen. But I don't think that these, you know, I think that people have this kind of uh, fatigue even amongst the more mainstream, powerful people in it, as far as the subject goes. But not only fatigue, but just are starting to question like, well, is this really where what we want to do as far as this crisis goes? Are these mandates really necessary? Are they really doing anything? Really, are they really helpful? Especially in a county that had given it, I'll just say, given it a shot more than... Uh, a lot of counties in the United States, like one of the highest giving it a shot uh, <laughs> places in the United States. <clears throat> and of course we, we see a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, breaking through that is going on, of course, uh, that is inexplicable in a certain way, or maybe it is explicable. It seems like every, every day uh, I read about someone that had a breakthrough in their life that they've, you know, had, even though they've given it a shot of the jabba jabba do. I'm going to use more uh, Matt McKinley codes. Um, jabba jabba do, the Action Jackson nation, but they're having this breakthrough, right? Jesse Jackson, those speaking of Jackson. <laughs> um, you look at Blabbermouth, you'd read about a lot of people. Now, I don't know, you know, how, uh, like, a more more the mortality with that is and we're gonna have to wait and see but you know it just seems like uh a lot of promises were made that were not uh that were not seen that were as effective as once said in my opinion i don't i don't know though you know we'll have to see what the numbers turn out to be but back to local mandates you know so people are mad you know rightfully so and I think, I think there's a lot of, there's a silent amount, there's an amount of people that are silent about this and like, what? You know, they're questioning these things. And they're just like, oh, I'm not gonna do that. You know, I'm not gonna do that at my store or my restaurant. A person walks in without the fucking, you know, the magical cloth square, as six X and Hammer calls them. I love that. Um, imagine if they, they're walking in with a, without a magical cloth square, I'm not gonna tell them to put it on. Or, you know, I've even went to like, I've been to fast food places or, you know, drive throughs People aren't wearing the magical cloth square in a lot of places. They're just not doing it, including the gym that I go to. I drove to another county because there's no uh, magical cloth square mandate there to work out yesterday. But when I came back to my county where the gym is right, you know, near my house, I peeked in and there were people that had the uh, magical cloth squares hanging from their neck, not in their face. So what does that say about the magical cloth square mandate? Um, I'm sure, and you know, you look around, you don't see even, pe people are not even wearing it around their neck. I mean, where, are they not going into stores at all? You know, the compliance has gone down. That's what I'm, my point is. I think the only way to not have this be a thing over and over again, these public health professionals, is to not comply. I mean, it's it's the only way. It's the only way to stick it to them is to not comply, to not follow their orders, just like what's happening in New York City with a lot of restaurants. There's just like, more, no, we're not gonna comply with this bullshit. We're, we're not going to follow this, this these edicts that are coming from often very hypocritical or very corrupt uh, professionals. 
<laughs> I mean, it's it's one of those things. And, you know, and it's not like I don't I don't believe that this thing uh, exists or isn't fatal for a lot of people or that I don't want to protect people and all this stuff. But we've come to a point where it's, you know, it, it's just going to be here. They're not going to get the jabba jabba do to all these countries that have 9% jabba jabba do rates, you know, in the amount of time that won't be creating new, uh, very, very ends variants, you know, they're not going to do that. It's not going to happen because it's, it would take, and you know, with the whole patent thing too, the controversy with that, including Mr. I'm agnostic about patents. Ugh. You're agnostic because you're fucking compromised by B I G P H A R M A motherfucker. You know, if you don't want to do that, then you're, you know, you're, you're an asshole. You know, if you don't, if you don't believe that you should wave the patents on these jabba jabba doos, right? But no, oh, I'm agnostic about it. You, you know, if you, if you really care, if you're really, you're just a bureaucratic, you know, uh, technocrat that's been in power for way too long is just is so corrupt and so in their own uh, cognitive bubble, you know, of delusion that you believe that there shouldn't be a vac. Yeah, well, I almost said the word shouldn't be a patent uh, waiver for developing countries. That's ridiculous, you know? And it just shows you the corruption of these people. But anyways, that's a different subject altogether. They're not gonna have, they're, they're not gonna get the people, you know, jabba jabba dude in the amount of time that it takes not to uh, have this become endemic. I'll just say that. That's my belief. And that's what a lot of people are saying in these articles and stuff. So we have to live with this thing. Do we have to wear the facial, you know, the, the magical cloth square forever? Some people probably would have it that way. Yes. There are, there are people on Twitter, blue check mark people that believe that they do, or they believe that people should distance forever and all this stuff or, you know, there's even these introvert, like, uh, do like not doctors, but like bloggers and people that are, and there's a few people that are in the, the, the health, um, apparatuses too, that are like these introverts that say, Oh, I don't care if it's forever or blah, blah, blah. It's like they do these tweets or these articles. It's just like, or, Oh, we should get used to, uh, just doing things remotely and alone. And uh, it's just like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. No. So what I see in my county, though, is you look around, you hear about less compliance with these mandates. You see people just be like, well, they're just putting their hands up in the air. They don't know what to do. They're just like, whatever. I'm just going to not wear the magical cloth square to the grocery store. Um, I was on Twitter and I was like talking to people because I hadn't been to a store since they implemented this and they, I wanted to see what they said. They said, oh, maybe oh, like 25, 30% aren't following it when it used to be like 5%, which is a lot if you think about it. So one in four people are not wearing the magical cloth square going to the grocery store, even though they're required to on the sign. People are just, people are just done. They're done with this. They're, if, if they're, just to be, to be blunt about this, yeah, it affects a lot of people, but if they're not, wheelbarrows of corpses being pushed around like they were during 1918, 1919. I don't think people are going to take these ser these things seriously for far too much longer. If, if it's not, if, if it, is, it is serious for a lot of people, you know, it is a, it is a threat to a lot of people, but if people are not, you know, seeing like maybe their uncle or great uncle or something died from it. And then like, a lot of people they knew got sick and were fine afterwards. It's like this thing. Well, yeah, it's it's bad, but it's like, you know, it's one of those things. But are people going to, you know, they, you see these articles, you know, that are coming out, like totally sympathetic to business owners that are having to implement these policies. And they're just like, what, you know, they're just, I think the cognitive dissonance has begun with people seeing that these mandates aren't really doing anything as far as this thing goes, because it just keeps going up, it goes down, it goes up, it goes down. We'll probably have a, a big wave in the north because people are going to be inside more. 
you know, in the next couple months, who knows? I mean, it might actually burn itself out as far as this new uh, uh, Delta Airlines thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, who knows? But it's, it's just like, I think people are just sick of it. But there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave this video with a note about how best to stop these mandates from being implemented when they're overbearing, especially in, in this in this state. Because you go, you go to a, a county, and it's so patchwork and bullshit. You go a county over, and you can go to a store without the magical face covering. Covering, they don't require all this stuff. Like, they don't require you to take a picture of your. Uh, jabba jabba do to go into the bar stuff like that in, in any county in wisconsin and even milwaukee county like i think i said in this video they're waiting until recess to uh just guide, decide whether or not people are having to have to wear their magical cloth squares which i have a lot of opinions on which i won't talk about in this video because of osterholm's recent statements for example um so yeah the best way to not comply with these mandates is not to comply. I know I'm gonna go grocery shopping in other states, or not other states, <laughs> that's a little too far. In other counties, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. I'm going to the gym in other counties. I may even just try to go to some places without wearing the magical cloth square. Because what, what the hell did I do the Jabba Jabba do for? You know, if, if, it doesn't, if it doesn't fucking work, or it's not, you know, enough to, wear the, to have the Jabba Jabba do, then what's the point of all this? That's just for some food for thought. And that's about all.